What's good planet Earth? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Charlie and thank you for being here for another video. Today is Gospel Sunday. If you're new to the channel, every Sunday we react to gospel. Every Sunday. So today is a Patreon request from Sandra. Actually, a lot of people have asked me for John B. John P. Key, but um, this one specifically was requested by Sandra. So this is New Life. First time reacting to any John P. Key. Um, yeah, not really sure what to expect, but it's nice to have a male. Generally, I react to, um, and, and this is just uh, fluke, uh, I guess. I, I tend to react to a lot more female gospel artists than I do male. Um, but since I started pointing that out, I have been getting more requests for um, male gospel singers. So it's nice to put one on the channel today. John P. Key, new life. Let's get into it. Without further ado, let's go. <laughs> nah, not yet. <laughs> There's nothing better than that bright, stabby, gospel-style piano, man. You know something good's coming when it starts with that. You just know. Last Sunday night, what happened? I had the opportunity to go and sit down with my brother. And we had a conversation that touched my life. Trader is the oldest of us and went to visit him. The doctor says he has cancer. I went by as a brother and a preacher to encourage him. And some kind of anointed way, God turned that thing around. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I will tell you, I've been talking about you all week because he said something to me. He said, you know, was that his brother? Was that why I zoomed, zoomed in? They sent a psychotherapist in my room. He said that the therapist said, we want to let you know you have X amount of days to live. He told me, he told the therapist, wait a minute. I know they pay you to come in here and tell me this. So since they pay you, you shut up and listen to me. He told me that no man, no doctor with a uniform could tell him how long he was going to live because his life belonged to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got so filled up in my spirit, I didn't want him to see me cry, but you know, I couldn't hold that thing, and I don't care how tough you try to be when it comes down to family and the love you have. Every now and then you have to shed a few. Yeah. But Trinidad, I want you just to stand up because you're a walking miracle to me. And I want y'all to give a hallelujah. Yeah. How amazing is that? So that that was his brother. Amazing. Thank you, Jesus. This song simply says, regardless to your manner of disease or what the doctor says you have, how many know the Lord Jesus can give you a brand new life? Hallelujah right now. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> New life. New life. I got 
got another one Tonight. How many got another chance Tonight. God will give you a new life oh, oh, oh. You ought to think about your own deliverance A, a brand new life to say it with us. Open your mouth one time and just say it. New night. New night. Ooh. New night. Listen to this part. We all sing this together. Come on. New life. New life. New life. New life. He's given us new life. Life is in Jesus' hands. Anything in us, I rest in His command. There's this little, little guy here. The volume the coming out of this choir, and there's not it's not the hugest choir. Like it's that's big noise. I wanna know who this little guy here is here. That well, reminds me of um Ricky Dillard's son being on the stage. Blake was his name. <laughs> Lift your hand and wave and say, He has given us. He has given us. One more time. The Lord has given us. Yes, He has. He's just a towel holding guy. <laughs> Bless him, man. Songs like this are so, they're so, to me, seem like meditation or mantra repeating because there's not a lot of 
lyrical content, not as much as other gospel songs that, that I've heard to it. It's the, mainly the choir repeating, giving us new life. And then obviously um, Mr. P. Key ad-libbing over the top here and there. But mainly it's just, it's about, it feels very much like a mantra. Just really let it marinate in this message uh, very simply that he is able to give you new life. And, you know, the that coupled with the music is, it's classic. It's very, it's got a got an air of hope about it. I don't know what it is about this kind of chord progression, um, but it's just, it's very, it feels very reassuring. It feels very full of hope. And um, it's, it's very clever what it does. Um, very simple message. And it just, it's uplifting, it's comforting. And I think it does exactly what it was in, intended to do. The, what it manages to achieve with such simplicity and repetition, it's amazing. Yeah, <clears throat> loved every second of that. That's some of my favorite gospel is, is just like that, you know, because that's that can provide you the lift you need in a very simple way. You don't need to overthink things. You just need to have a baseline sort of message that is what you need at that particular time. And as I say, just let it marinate, just let it marinate in your soul. And sometimes that's, that's all you need. And it really is the most helpful and uplifting thing to experience and watch um, or sing along to or whatever, whatever you do, you know. Incredible. Thank you for that one, Sandra. Amazing. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Uh, if you want to make any more suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. But I don't get to even a fraction of them. I just get too many comments every day. If you want to ensure that your request is fulfilled, head to the description and it will tell you how to do it there. But thank you for being here for another Gospel Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoy the rest of your weekends and have a great week ahead. And as always, be kind to yourselves. Love everybody and take care. I freaking love you guys.